course, the food is a big deal at your wedding, but what about pairing it with wine or whiskey or vodka? I love the fact that, Carson, for your wedding, you're going to have a pair for every single course. Absolutely. Well, we're doing somewhat of a destination wedding. So most okay. of the guests are traveling about two hours, and they're coming to a wine area that has a lot of spirits and all things. So people are coming specifically for the food and the drink. Yes. So I was able to work with my good friend, Chef Scott, and his partner, Kyle, about building a menu customized for the guests. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to walk you through a few of the canapes because we actually have nine courses. Ooh, so yeah, so it's going to be a very fun, it's a, it's a feast. Okay. So starting out, we're actually doing honey. Now a cube of honey just like this, nice. it's served on a stone from a local beach that we ran through a dishwasher, wow. but the honey is actually grown from the wildflowers on my field. Oh my I know gosh. it sounds crazy, but we're pairing that with a local champagne because the champagne made in the same area, the flavors complement each other so nicely and it's such a clean, crisp finish to that. Lovely. All right, moving along, we're doing compressed watermelon. Now compressed watermelon, end of season, all we're doing is taking it, vacuum sealing it so it's nice and tight, taking yes. it a little extra moisture but adding extra flavor to it. Mm. So for that, we're gonna pair a cocktail that Kevin came up with. Now okay. this is called the Urban Bureaucrat. Now Kevin's a big vodka drinker. Yeah. And what's nice about this particular cocktail is the uh, vodka is really important to adding flavor. Often we use vodka and we just let it kind of disappear into the background, right? Mm -hmm. So this time I went with one called Neutral. And the reason I chose Neutral Vodka is it's so smooth, it's clean. Mm -hmm. So it's got a really nice finish. So you go two ounces of Neutral Vodka. We already like the start of that, right? Yep. Then we're gonna go with melon. Now a lot of people aren't big on melon, yeah. but in this case, we're pairing the melon with the lime. And the melon and lime combination together, very clean, very easy finish. So we're just okay. one ounce of lime, okay? Simple, three ounces of, or well, it's one ounce of melon, yeah. three ounces of bar lime. Okay. Okay, give it a little shake. Nice and fresh. With some ice, very fresh. Yeah. You're gonna put it into your martini glasses. Lovely. Gorgeous, right? I want to know how much uh, trial and error you have to do oh, to come little... up with this cocktail. Well, that's it. You've got to always try your vodkas with your cocktail because yeah. the vodkas add different flavors to it. And then okay. we're going to finish it with a maraschino cherry. That's so beautiful. Yeah, so simple, so okay. easy, but fresh. So and celebratory fresh. and fresh. fresh. It could go perfectly with that. With the compressed watermelon. Yes. But for Carson. I'm a whiskey drinker. Okay. Okay. I didn't want vodka. I wanted something a little more. Ugh, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we came up with a drink called the Canadian Lumberjack. Don't judge me on the time. <laughs> yeah. For all my American fans out there, it just happened that way. So we're going to start out with whiskey. Now, I actually decided to go with a Wiser's Barrel Select. And the reason I did that is because I really like the smoky flavors and the deep flavors. Okay. Now, this one is the Deluxe. Uh, there are several different options, but the Deluxe for me hit the, hit the note, okay? okay? So, the whiskey, we're gonna go two ounces in a glass. Really simple, okay? Yeah. And you want uh, uh, drinks that are easy to make, because mm -hmm. you've gotta make a lot of them, okay? That's right. We're gonna do one ounce of maple syrup. Now, Ooh, this maple syrup sweet. was aged in a whiskey barrel. Oh. So the two, the sweet, the smoky, really build up the flavor. Yes. We're gonna add a big chunk of ice to this to cool this down, okay? Then we're gonna take it to the next level. All right, All right. this is where it gets fun. I'm a gardener. Yes. So rhubarb flavored bitters. Ooh. Just a few little drops in there. That's just all you need. Adds an extra little spicy punch to the whiskey. Really plays it up. And because yeah. I love the smoky, I'm adding liquid smoke. Oh. So just a little liquid smoke, just to make it kind of one drop, because one drop just enhances what's already wow. in the whiskey. Really gives you the pop. And then to finish it, you yeah. need a nice little piece of orange citrus dropped in there. Yeah. A little stir for your guests. That's it. And that is perfection. Absolutely. That is good. And we're pairing that yeah. with those brisket sliders down on the end. Okay. 12 hour smoked brisket sliders. So imagine the whiskey with the smoked sliders. Oh, oh amazing. Oh, this is going to be a party in everyone's Absolutely. mouth. That is so good. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, so the sliders with the whiskey. That is gorgeous. Okay, any other uh, courses or pairings? Do you, are you doing anything as pedestrian as wine? Yeah, so we're going to do wines throughout the thing. Okay. So we've got two reds from the area, two whites from the area being yeah. served. Friends of mine are brewers, so I have a specialty cherry pilsner being done and a pumpkin spice ale. This is customized to the 10th degree. Right, and this is, I mean, this is the way you live. You're, you're an entertainer, you have people coming over, you have them eating and drinking, and you grow your own food. I think it's beautiful that your wedding is gonna show all of that. So all the information for this segment will be on our website, that is cityline.tv. Be sure to check it out.